What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and I just wanted to make a brief video on whether or not the Blade of the Guardian is worth buying. Now as many of you may know I use this weapon almost every single time I play PvE. Judging by the mere fact that I virtually always have this equipped, you can probably guess what I think it's worth. It may very well be my favorite PvE weapon ever and I use it probably 95% of the time. Why? Well, because it protects, it has Blade of the Guardian, and it counterattacks, and it counterattacks quite a bit. Now, I usually use this with other counterattack weapons, especially the Mercurial. Then often I'll even use it with the Infiltrator and Powered Armor, and then I'll have that Combat Reflexes counterattack as well. What this allows you to do is easily dispatch of most enemies, and you barely even have to pay attention. It's great for quick clears, farming, and for leveling up new heroes. Say you have a low level hero and you're afraid that he's going to get one shotted or at the very least taken out and then he'll lose a lot of experience. Well this will protect them and it also really picks up the slack damage wise. So those are a few reasons why I really love this thing in PvE. Also I don't want to undervalue that Blade of the Guardian buff. This is going to allow your agent to gain those finest hour buffs including strengthened and then on top of that, when Blessing of Heroes is active, you'll regain some HP and your attacks are guaranteed crits. All of this combined is phenomenal and you could even see how this could be good in PvP. However, I do want to warn you about some of the downfalls of this item. In PvE, there's virtually none, other than the fact that you will want to keep your agent alive. Obviously, if you're going to use him as a protector, you want to make sure he has some durability. You may want to give him a certain armor or maybe equip him with some stalwart and some HP ISO 8. For me, my agent is pretty much a tank and he almost never goes down. On the other hand, if you're having trouble keeping yours alive, you may not want to use a protect weapon. Now in PvP, this is where it can be debatable. Right away, I have to say, it used to be amazing in PvP, but I haven't used mine in quite some time. Also, I have to say I haven't seen anyone else use theirs either. That of course is at level 300. At lower levels you may see it used quite a bit and I could see how it could be OP. One of the problems is it's kind of risky using a protect weapon on your agent. Normally you don't want your agent to get knocked out above anything else so you don't want him to be the focus of the attacks. Even when protect weapons were being used, most people use the Orfrost Mace. So this would be in the Havoc Quicksilver season for example. In that season, the Blade of the Guardian basically would have got your agent one-shotted by a plasma wave, where at least the mace would stop you from dying at least for that turn. So yes, this can make your agent vulnerable, and that is something you'll want to be aware of. By the way, right here you're seeing the difference between mine, which is only a 235, and what a 310 power level would be. The really interesting thing about this is it only costs 48 G, which is the same price as Reforging. Because of this, I'm actually very tempted to buy it again myself. So despite any of my PvP warnings, I do think this weapon is definitely worth buying. I just want to be fair and caution you that you may not find yourself always using this in PvP. For one, nowadays there's a ton of good items, so there's plenty other things that you could use instead, and it actually may be a very difficult decision to find a spot for this item in the first place. Also, you really might find yourself not liking the fact that your agent takes so much damage and may be knocked out before you plan on it. Not to mention the facts that Quicksilver and Uncanny Psylocke and characters like that are just going to ignore your protect anyways. Oh, and all those Pestilence Beast teams? Well, they're just going to hit you with that cornered and off-balanced attack. And Pestilence's other attack is stealthy, so this weapon will do very little against those type of teams and those attacks. But anyways, what I've been showing you is the Blade of the Guardian and its identical twin, Mercurial. This would be one of my typical PvE setups. But I am going to do a PvP battle and then I do want to say a couple more things about this weapon. There are definitely setups that may make this item very PvP worthy. I'm going to show you one that I've used in the past and it may work out at least on offense sometimes. And then the other one that I do want to briefly mention is you could try some counterattack heavy setup. But I do have to caution you, Iron Fist or the Rafshank may end up being your worst nightmare. Now for this setup I'm using the Blade of the Guardian, the Neurotrope, the Ionic Sledge, and Power of Four. 
Unfortunately, this matchup did go against a possible joke team, but they do have decent stats. And either way, I just want to show you the weapon. The Neurotrope right away gave us Blessing of Heroes, so it pretty much couldn't go any better than what it did. At this point, our attacks are guaranteed critical hits, and that really does make for a good pairing with any type of deadly crits weapon. So that's something else you may want to keep in mind. I'm using the Ionic Sledge, which has Finest Hour, so it will take advantage of all of those buffs from the Neurotrope and the Blade of the Guardian, not to mention the fact that it will guaranteed critically hit. As you can also see, when you're properly buffed, you can do a ton of damage even on the counterattack. Plus, this isn't even a level 310, it's underleveled. Thinking back, this thing used to be a nightmare when I faced it. I didn't get it the first time around. I believe I bought it on its first re-release, and it was only 48G then too. I've never regretted it, even though I haven't used it in PvP in quite some time. By the way, there's plenty of setups that you could try. You could use some sort of resurrect item, or maybe even someone like Angel, and then use this protect weapon and maybe a counterattack heavy setup. I believe there are possibilities, and if everything else fails, you do have one of the best PvE weapons in the game. So I hope I helped, and if you want a yes or no, well then I say yes, go ahead and buy it. Especially if you don't have any other protect weapon. Well that's going to be it for this video, and I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to check out my other channel. The link to that is on the screen in the top left. Thank you once again, and until next time, good luck, and take care.